I love using Kittle. There's a million designs down here below that you can pick and use for your own purposes. You can make great print on demand, t-shirts and stickers and all sorts of products. In this video though, I'm not gonna be using the templates. I'm gonna go up here to new project on the top right and I'm actually gonna create a sports card design. These are super popular for a little league like baseball or football, hockey, basketball or any sort of sport. You can make a poster print that looks like a hockey card or a baseball card and I'm gonna be walking through that today. The first thing we're gonna do is change our artboard. So over on the top right hand side, there's a little gear icon. I'm gonna click on that and we can see the artboard defaults to 1200 by 1200. I'm gonna change this and I'm gonna change the ratio to one by four. So what I'm gonna do is make the width 1000 pixels and I'm gonna make the height 1400 pixels. And to me, it looks and feels the same dimensions as a sports card. From here, I'm gonna upload the base image and what you can do is go over, over here to the left hand side and you can click on uploads and you can upload a picture of a little Johnny playing his sports event. You can click on upload media right there at the top. Okay, and once the image is uploaded, it sits in the uploads folder here and I can just click on the image. You can have a whole library over here if you wanted and now the image is gonna populate into my template. I can make it larger, smaller, I can move it around, I can center it. You can see these guidelines pop up. Okay, I also want to upload my logo for my fictitious baseball team as well. So I actually made a logo, but this would be like the real life logo of the Little League sports team. You can upload this media as well. Okay, and I'm gonna click my fictitious logo here and it's gonna populate in. And now I can move this around as well. I like to put it usually down in the corner, usually in the bottom left hand side, just like that. Okay, now there's a million different sports cards out there, so I'm gonna be picking something here that kind of looks vintage. So I'm going to click on the background, and then from here, I'm going to change the color, and the color I'm gonna pick is a blue, and I'm gonna make it a nice teal. Now you can add text into these designs pretty easily as well. Over on the left-hand side, there's a text button, off the menu, I'm gonna click it, and then you've got two options. You can go through and you can scroll through different titles, and you can look at all these different options here, and this is really nice. And you can also just click Add Headline at the top. If you click Add Headline, you're just gonna get a basic piece of font that just looks like that, and there's nothing wrong with that. If you wanna save some time, or if you wanna have some fun, you can just use what's already in the text option. So I'm gonna click on Text again just to show you here. We can see that there are different options here. I'm going to go down to titles and show all and we can see there's a bunch here that come up and now from here I'm going to pick on ultimate game score. That's going to populate. I'm going to make it nice and big so we can read it and I only want the uh, bottom. I don't actually want the top so I'm going to click on ultimate and I'm going to click the delete key and then I'm gonna click game score. I'm gonna double click it and now I'm gonna type in the name of the team which is Bears and I'm gonna click the text color, and I'm gonna make that white. And now I can simply make it smaller, I can move it around, I can put it right down here at the bottom. One thing I really like to do, especially when using photography, is having layered text that has effects on it, and Kittle is amazing for this. So I'm gonna click on the text again, and you can see that there's a whole bunch of text options. Well, there's a whole nother menu of text options. So over on the top, you'll see text settings. I'm gonna click this little A with a plus button on it, you can see now there's shading options and decoration options. So I'm actually gonna click this decoration option. We can see now the Bears logo changes and it gives me a secondary color on the right hand side as well. And you can make it look exactly the way you want. Now let's say I wanted to match this red in the Seattle. Pretty easy to do, just click on the little eyedropper tool, move over to the Seattle, click on it. It now changes the color to match exactly. That's pretty neat. So now I've got two text colors here and you can make the secondary text color anything you want. I'm gonna make it a bit brighter red. Another thing you can do as well with the text is you can add in a background on it, like a shadow. So I'm gonna click on the text again, and we'll see that the text settings comes up. I'm gonna click on the A with the plus on it, and I'm gonna see there's shading options now. So I'm gonna click a shading option. We can see now they populate in real time. So now I'm gonna click, pick the shading here, and then I can pick the color of the shading. I'm gonna make it black, and then I can actually change how this looks. I can make it larger, smaller. This is a very nice feature. I can change the angle of it. So you can really pinpoint exactly how you would like and you can even blur the shadow as well. So I'm gonna not blur it. I'm gonna make the angle about 45, maybe 50, something like that. And I'm gonna make the offset relatively pronounced. So that to me now looks really nice. And then you can always move it around a tiny bit if you want as well. Just basically click and move. It's really, really easy to use. 
And now what we're going to do as well is that we're going to add in something about the player. We want to make sure that the poster is highlighting the athlete, right? So in this case, we're going to click text and I am going to click headline here at the top and I'm going to make sure that this person's name is now mentioned. So this is Shelly. This is our fictitious baseball player. And then from here, I can highlight the text and I can change the font and I'm going to make the font a bit larger. You can just hover over these different options and I'm, you can see the font is now growing. You may need to move the box and make it a bit bigger and that's fine too. And I'm going to move it right here to the top, right like that. Now you might be saying, well that font is a bit hard to read. So you've got a couple different options. One is you can just simply change the text color. I'm actually going to leave it black though. I've got a different, which I think is a better option. On the left hand side, I'm going to click elements and I'm going to click basic shapes. I can then make a background element out of a square. I can make it look like that. I can right click it and say backwards. That's now going to make it underneath the word. I'll click on it and I'll make that object color something different like say red. You can also layer this as well and I really like this option. Just simply click on the box, click control C and control V. Now you've got a second box. Change the color of it to something else, say black. Right click it, go backwards one level and now you can move it underneath and you can make it look like a drop shadow. I think that's really, it's really easy to do. You can do the same thing here with the actual picture as well. I'm going to click on the basic shape here to add in another box and I'm going to make it the same size as the photograph. Just like that. And now I'm just going to simply move it off center like that. So you can move it just down and to the right. I'm going to make it completely black and then I'm going to say move right to back. So this is the very very back layer. We can see now it sits in behind the picture and you can still click on that side piece if you wanted to move it around at all. But you can also nudge it with arrows as well. You can go up and down. That's kind of a nice feature. So I just wanted a tiny little shadow there that sits in behind the picture and now we've got our background. Now there's one last thing that I'd like to do. I want to add a circular design with the, with the number. We're going to pretend this person's number is 22 and what you can do is on the left hand side under elements you can click on basic shapes or you can click on all or you can even type into the search bar. I'm going to type in circle because maybe I want to get something back that's not just a regular good old circle. But here we've got a whole bunch of different options. I'm actually going to click on this one. It looks like a little bit of a badge. I really like this because it's not just a straight up circle. And then from here I'm going to make this just white and I'm going to make it a bit smaller and I'm going to just kind of overlay it just like this. Now I'll go into the text feature. I'll click add headline. I'm going to type in into the text number 22 and then now I'll click it move it up here and I'm going to make the text a bit bigger and I'm going to make that text the same as the other which is Shelly here. This is called Luckiest Guy. And we've got a great looking sports card. This would make a great poster print that any soccer mom, little league parent would love to purchase. So if you're working in print on demand and you're creating custom designs, this can be a great option for parents and family members. It makes a great gift. Thank you, Kittle, for making this so easy and fun. I highly recommend Kittle. There's a link in the video description below. Quick heads up, it is an affiliate link. That just means if you purchase the subscription, I would receive a small commission. Thank you for watching. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your print on demand journey using the superpowers of Kittle.